Bob, may I <sighs> just interrupt you for a second? Um, you're off to New York. Uh, how do you feel about your prospects out there? Well, we've been out there before, Bob. You know, we had a really good games, and uh, we think we're playing Gornick or Zagreb Dynamo, and of course we hope to do well and go on to play against Dukla and beat them, we hope. I hope so too. What's it like playing in that heat? Oh, well, of course, it's an experience we'd never get over in this country playing in 96 degrees, but uh, we managed to get by all right after some fuss and bother, believe me. Tina, how do you feel about flying out to New York? Oh, well, I'm a bit worried about flying out because we've just come back from a holiday from Mallorca and we had such a bad flight coming back, we had to return to Palmer after two engines had failed. But other than that, I think it's absolutely wonderful. Looking ahead, the only thing you seemed to lack last season was consistency. Um, yes, I agree to an extent, Bob. We were a little bit inconsistent, but I, I think really it's something to do with the inexperience and so many youngsters in the side. But we reached one or two high peaks, and we hope we can do it the whole season through this year. Good. Do, do you genuinely think West Ham can be a super club in the, in the new era? Uh, well, I think this is something that revolves around success, Bob. You know, I think uh, if you're a successful club, it's good for the club, it's good for the players, and the public interest is there. And I think this is the main thing about being super clubs, if you're successful. Oh, on, on success, the last two years have been absolutely incredible for you. What, what has it meant to you, these last two years? Oh, well, of course, since I know Maximum Bob, it's meant something like trebling my wages, which is something fantastic, really, you know. And due to this, we're able to be buying our own house and running cars, and, you know, we're really lucky, really, in every respect. <laughs>